Wow, this lens is... sorry. That's number two. And... and that's one of number two's daughters. I don't think she likes me interrupting. You got a whole bunch of eggs under you. white one, uh, white splash, that is white and true blue, and this one is a little first generation Olivegger. Her father was a white and true blue, and her mother was a production brown egg layer that I got from VW Family Farm, Lane and Emily. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You should, these two haven't started laying eggs yet. Uh, it's only been five months. I'd give them another month. Number two's kids were just early. Bob's over there inspecting my uh, hay. side of the fence. I know, you're not hurting anything. Stay away from my new uh, garden bed for potatoes though, please. Good afternoon from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Sunday. It is 58 cloudy and windy right now. Put the long sleeves on. Earlier it was 65 and sunny. So didn't do any filming this morning. What I did do was I cleaned out all of my incubators to get them ready to go. I will take them in tonight, get them set up and running so that they'll be ready to go here um, uh, maybe tomorrow. What, uh, well, that, uh, yeah, incubating eggs, that'll be for probably my next video. I'm just cleaning them out today, and that is not exciting. So that's what I did this after, or this morning, and then I just woke up from a nap. It was lovely. Two days in a row. I don't care about this time change. I'm napping no matter what. Well, not no matter what, but. Okay, uh, I want to dig up some irises, so let's go do that. This is where I will be digging up irises. There's a bunch of them popping out. And the reason that this is not a good time to dig up irises. This is probably one of the worst times other than, you know, right when they're blooming. Anyway, the reason why I'm doing this is I want to move a chicken coop right there. Hey, Fifi. 
yeah, I want to move this chicken coop because it's kind of still in the front yard and I'd like to have more access to that area for gardening. So, I would like to move this chicken coop relatively soon. And this is basically the only spot for it because of the soggy conditions that happens when I get a big rain. So this is a high spot. So that is where I want it and instead of putting it on top of the irises, I'm just going to dig them up and see if I can't move them. This is the same spot that I was digging up uh, more than a hundred lilies the other day. And then I put them in that, uh, that little garden bed right there. So yeah, that's where the li lilies went that were here. And so now I'm going to continue on with this project. <music> be enough for this Sunday. Uh, there are about 60 irises in there. The reason why I sprinkled the wood chip compost over top is because irises do not like to be deep. They like to be right at the surface. Um, it's actually called a rhizome, an iris rhizome, and uh, they will rot out if they are too deep in the ground. Very similar to the lilies, these irises, they might not bloom or do anything this year because I dug them up at the wrong time. <laughs> Had to do it when I got around to it. So, um, let's see. Yeah, and I built a little uh, rock-lined garden bed wall again. Do not expect me to do that for every single garden bed. These are around a tree. They are perennials. It'll be relatively permanent. Um, I'm just getting these irises and lilies and daffodils and all this stuff kind of out of the way and so it makes sense for me to put in the extra effort for uh, for building a rock line wall. But for growing potatoes it's not going to do nothing for potatoes so I am not going to put the extra effort in there. I'll be doing more rock line garden beds but don't expect every single one to be like that. That's a lot of work right Bob? Okay the, yeah that's it. Thanks for watching. Take her easy, everybody. You posing with the daffodils today, Bob?
Bob, are you posing with the daffodils today? Now don't go digging up that garden bed I just created. And we got Fifi over there. Okay, good night everybody.